Hello. I'm Mike Ran. Ruler of South Australia. Minister for the Arts. Minister for Sustainability. Minister for Good News. Minister for Bend Over My Desk Baby. And all round good guy. Close up here please. I wanted to take the opportunity to speak with all my loyal subjects before the election on Saturday. Oh wait. Did I mention that I'm passionate? No. I forgot to mention. I'm a passionate South Australian. A passionate South Australian. Born in England. Raised in New Zealand. Oh. And a passionate member for Ramsay. Living in Norwood. But I try to get to my electorate every six months for a cup of coffee. Cause I'm so passionate about my electorate. Thank God I don't live there though. Much nicer in Norwood. Anyway. I wanted to talk to you all about me. First. I think I should apologize. I should apologize for my mistakes. We all make mistakes. I should know. I've made a bunch of them. So here goes. I'm sorry for Michael Atkinson. Yes. He is a twat. But who else could I get to fill that position? Nicole Corns perhaps could do a better job. But we all know she was about as popular as a fart in an elevator. I'm also sorry for Tom Coots and Thomas. Or. Turbo Tom. As some like to call him. He is a hoon. But on the bright side. He moves. Round his electorate very very quickly. Which is always an advantage when you're being chased by the cops. I would also like to apologize for having a flirty relationship with a married woman. That relationship was based on confidences and. Oh. Oh. On discussions. It was funny. It was flirty. It was just like any other friendship would be. Apart from the late night overtime I had to pay her for working back with me at my office in Parliament. Things got very very funny and very flirty on those particular nights. We did things that would make even Alvin Purple turn red with embarrassment. Yes I banged her. I shagged her rotten. But hey. She came on to me man. She was like the village bicycle. Everyone had had a ride. So enough of that. I have other stuff to apologize for. Sorry for appointing an ex ice cream salesman as treasurer of the state. So that brings me to Kevin Foley. Sorry. About him. I'm not really sure what I was thinking. I think at the time he had just sold me an ice cream. And I had a bit of a brain freeze. But at least I knew that he would never have any chance of challenging me for my job. So. Promises. Yes. Promises. Never have I broken one in my life. Apart from when I increased taxes after the last election. And cut public service jobs. Oh. And went back on my commitment to build a Sturt South Road underpass. And also a Southport Grange Road underpass. And a new prison. And expanding Mount Bold Reservoir. And fixing the River Murray. But I did sign an historic agreement with the Eastern States and Kevin Rudd. So we wouldn't get screwed quite as much as what we have in the past on water. That was a great day in the history of South Australia, and one which I will always be remembered for helping to implement. Unfortunately that deal turned out to be crap, and so I'm now taking Victoria to the High Court to make sure they ignore that historic agreement. And rip it up. And flush it down the toilet. Now on to some good news. One. Hundred. Thousand. 
That's a big number isn't it? That's how many jobs I'm going to tell you that I would like to create here in SA over the next 150 years. You'll thank me in 150 years. Believe me. Now, what about my plan to destroy? I mean, change. Adele Doval into a monstrosity. It never rains here anyway. So why does it need a roof? Screw Mark Rusciuto. What would he know? And screw you too if you don't vote for me. So thank you for listening. And remember. If ya can't trust Rani. Who can ya? Oh. One more thing. I'm an underdog. Peace out.